Assalamu alaikum ninjas, welcome back, welcome back. Check it out what I have in my hands. Uh, gamepad, ROG5 and uh, 4K TV using uh, either uh, SX2, uh, PS2 emulator. The best emulator in the world. It's not uh, just the best emulator, uh, it's also free guys, which is it's a complete killer of the Damon PS2 Pro emulator. We'll be testing many different games over this 4K TV, my special series, so please make sure to uh, watch my YouTube channel for uh, more gameplays. Uh, of course, uh, when you have free time, uh, I'll be using ROG5 Snapdragon 888, I'll be using Ipega PG9099 and also GameSir X2 Gamepad, I'll leave the buying links in the description and also a Ventune USB cable with the HDMI cable, you have a Ventune USB hub, uh, which you need to uh, obviously in order to uh, connect maybe a charger, a HDMI cable in the same time and SD card if you want to do that. Everything with one single USB hub. Anyway, enjoy, watch this video till the end, also by the end of this video we'll be showing you the settings, so watch it, watch it, let's go! Okay, now we're gonna test Bully, the PS2 version. This is guys on 3x resolution. You probably can see it on the top left, uh, top right corner. Looks like your mom forgot to change your pants, huh? I'm not sure if this game on default has a 60 FPS support. I think not. Uh, what I'm seeing here, gee, it's running maximum 30 FPS. I think this game runs maximum 30 FPS with the PS2 console. Well, I might you be wrong. Hey, anyway, that's running full speed, guys. 100% uh, CPU real time speed, which is good. At 3x resolution, 3x resolution. Frustrated. What you gonna do? What is this? Get out of here. You don't mess with me! Never. 15, get married, man. Then do it. Prepare to get creamed with one lump or two. When I get up, you're bound, kid. I don't know what to do when boys talk. Kid's cool. To be honest, I don't know the full story of this game. Uh, what kind of boys dorm? Okay, this boys dorm and this girl there. Okay, good. Separate it. Okay, what? Smoking kills, bro. Also, my fifth, fifth kill, also. Yes, beam cola. Oh, you had beam cola. Better collect this. Rubber band. Okay, you get the point, guys. Let's go now and show you the settings. I might even include another game in the same video. Not sure, but the game runs full speed, 100% CPU real time speed. Let's go. Uh, okay, so the settings for the end. Uh, please make sure to guys uh, pause this video if I'm too quick. Let's begin uh, here. Uh, remember, enable frame limit, enable it all the time. Uh, of course, if you want to uh, fast forward the talk intros, just disable it. But for actual gameplay, enable this option. Uh, fast boot, enable patch codes. Later on, we're going to make a video about that. Let's go to the system. EE cycle rate and EE cycle skip with the mid-range phones and low-end phones you should play around with these games but uh, for for now with the Snapdragon 6870, A88 uh, more powerful smartphones the, just leave it as it is here we go now we're gonna go to the graphics OpenGL guys I tried Vulkan Vulkan maybe in some games like GTA San Andreas was running better on Vulkan it was be uh, rendered correctly uh, while most of the games are running better on Open OpenGL uh, anyway, let's go here. Aspect ratio 60 with 9. You could use also the stretch. Enable widescreen patches. Host VSync. Uh, what you need to enable, most of the stuffs uh, are here on default, more of the settings. But this here, guys, let me just show right now. GPU palette conversion. 
Remember to play around with this game. Uh, right now, when I enabled it, I did get better performance boost in most of the games. Preload textures also enable this option, guys. This is not enabled at the beginning. So you, ne you need to enable these options. Okay? Enable them. And we have here the audio output, interpolation mode, synchronization mode, game list, bias, and BIOS and advanced. Here we have the invest option. And that should be it, guys. I was using uh, gamepads. I will recommend you which gamepads I use, uh, of course, in the description. Smartphones also from $200 to $1,000, which smartphones I suggest. Check everything in the description. Thank you for watching this video. Masalama.